Yo, so I'm gonna be comparing my blood test results from back in February this year to my most recent one in October. And basically what I did since February was I did full carnivore for two months. And then I've basically been on a carnivore based diet for over six months now. And I also did my first blast of test E. So just kind of wanted to compare like before I did all that, just regular bloods to how I was actually eight weeks into my cycle. And so we'll get started off from the top. I'll put the picture of the results on the screen. I'm just gonna be going over the stuff that's actually concerning or like kind of stands out. Basically just starting from the top, the only thing that is bad up there is my red blood cell count and my hemoglobin, which are both low. And what's actually really weird about this is doing any kind of anabolic steroids or you know eating a lot of red meat is actually supposed to increase both of these. So considering that they're low, it honestly doesn't make a lot of sense. And also what makes less sense is back in February, my blood tests actually showed they were higher. So back in February, it was 5.25 for a red blood cell count. Um, and now it's 4.12, so a little bit of a drop. And my hemoglobin is, or it was 15.3 grams a deciliter back in February, and now it's 12.3. So I had like a really big drop on that. Uh, I don't really understand why. Just doing a little research, it could be or overhydration. Like while I had my, my most recent test, could have like skewed the results. Um, other than that, I don't really understand why. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. <clears throat> so that's just like something I'll keep an eye on because it could be like an underlying issue. Because honestly, like the diet I did and a, in, in like a way that they actually would increase red, red blood cells would be to give somebody steroids or make them eat meat to like or like a lot of iron you know like and I already I already have both of those in check and like it you know it's, it's just not making any sense so I'll just have to keep an eye on that because it could be an issue related to something else um, other than that you know just looking down everything looks normal the next thing is my BUN and my creatine so unfortunately I didn't have my BUN tested in February but it is high on this test and I did some research and I'm really not concerned about this at all, either of these BUN or creatinine. First with the BUN, because if you look down my GFR, which is stands for basically a filtration rate of your kidneys, which is basically what the BUN and creatinine are testing. They're both testing your kidney function. And just to sum it up, basically GFR is like an estimated way that your kidneys are filtering, it's just a, a way they measure it, and, and the GFR is really good, especially for my body size, um, it's, it's excellent, so I'm not really too worried about that. And my creatinine, um, I'm not worried about that at all because it's just at the top of the range and it was exactly the same as it was in February, so it was 1.3 back in February, so no change at all. And also I supplement with creatine. So that actually raises your blood creatinine levels as well. So I'm not worried about those. I'll just keep an eye on, you know, my kidney function if I need to. Just, you know, I'll keep a note of that. And then kind of where things get weird in a good way. <clears throat> towards the bottom, my cholesterol. So back in February, my... So, so overall my cholesterol got a lot better, which is very strange because, you know, you, you hear a lot of saturated fat makes your blood cholesterol levels worse and steroids, anabolic steroids are pretty much guaranteed to make it worse. So they all improve pretty good. Just to be real quick, February, my overall, my total cholesterol was 161 milligrams a deciliter and now it's 150 milligrams with my most recent test, as you can see. Um, that's total cholesterol. It's a pretty good improvement. What is that, 11-point improvement? 
um, triglycerides, they were 69 milligrams a deciliter in February, and now they're at 47 milligrams in my most recent test, which is a good drop. Um, HDL, which is the good cholesterol, was at 57 and bumped up almost 10 points um, since February. And my LDL, which is the bad cholesterol, was 92 back in February and it dropped a good amount and it's 75 now. So very strange results. I mean, that's actually really good. So basically what that means is the diet that I'm on right now is definitely helping my like cholesterol measurements. And I know cholesterol can be debated if it's like still valid or not. But considering how, you know, the anabolic steroids probably made it worse by a little bit, considering how greatly it improved, there's, there's really no way that the diet didn't help like this by a lot. So that's really it. Yeah, my thyroid was good. Um, yeah, and you can see my testosterone's way up and, and all that. Um, Thyroid was a little low on the T4, but that's not anything to worry about. It's at the bottom of the range. Um, basically, the diet I was on in February was like a lot of vegetables, um, not really a lot of red meat, mostly like chicken and lean meat, uh, a lot of vegetables uh, like rice, you know, all, all like whole grains, basically like a high carb diet, a lot of fruit, but I ate a lot of fruit too. And it was like all organic. I had a lot more money back then. So it was like all organic green vegetables, juicing a little bit, you know. It was, you know, typical diet that you'd think is like super healthy. Uh, but now the diet on my most recent test, basically all I eat, because if you look at my last videos, it was to fix skin issues. So basically all I eat now is just, I eat about two pounds of red meat a day. Um, some some of it's lean, some of it's fatty, uh, most of it's not grass-fed. I'll have like maybe one of them's grass-fed, but basically I'll just be eating that. Oatmeal, uh, potatoes, any kind of potatoes, and I take some like multivitamins and like vitamin D. Um, rice, and yeah, just like whole grains, and, th and that's about it. That's all I really eat. Maybe a little chicken here and there, but mostly my protein's going to be beef. And yeah, that's my blood test results compared to those two diets and, and blasting test E. Uh, it was just a basic blast. This was my first one, 300 milligrams a week. So a pretty small blast. Um, yeah, there'll be more to come of that and diet updates as well. So if you're interested in keeping up, subscribe. And other than that, just leave a comment if you want to talk to me. Thanks for watching, guys.